spreadsheet to make sure you're going to visit them at the right time hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon and today we're going to talk about the best kept secret to growing your audience now actually it's going to be about growing your audience on social media and getting them to climb that no like trust ladder or grow in their trust in you right that's the main thing we're going to be talking about but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets that's right growing their trust in you why do you need your prospects to grow their trust in you so we're going to talk about that then I want to remind you though if you're listening to the audio you need to go check out the video or the blog post at cis438.jsgagnon.com because I do share my screen and some you know it might be nice to just see a face on this uh, voice all right so let's get right to it so let's share my screen as we talk about that and let's talk about first let's get into what do leaders coaches mentors and gurus tell you to do right if you want to grow well before we even talk about all that list that's right there let's talk about the trust factor why do you need to grow your audience's trust factor and if you don't know it's because they need trust before they'll buy from you and if you're trying to build a business online well you are trying to get people to trust you to buy stuff from you right so that's just the whole that's just the basics the basics of getting somebody to buy from you they they have to trust you now what the, the so what are the you know like I said again what do the leaders the coaches the mentors and the gurus tell you to do to grow that trust factor now when you first get started online I mean when I started online back in 2015 they didn't tell me to go to go grow my trust factor uh, if they told me that like maybe you're thinking that same thing right now you're like what are you talking about I I don't I don't like I can't even wrap my head around that right but the thing is that it starts with them getting to know no no like and trust that's what no like trust ladder is it's basically getting them to go up that ladder towards from from not knowing you to knowing you to to liking you and then to trusting you right before they buy from it's kind of like anyways I I have this concept of a no like trust ladder that you have to have your prospects go through before they buy from you they have to go through that process they can't go straight from not knowing you to trusting you and buying from you right they have to go through the other stuff it's just part of it and what leaders tell you to do is these steps right find or decide who your avatar target audience is the first step is knowing that you got to know who you're trying to sell to you got to know who it is that you're trying to attract you got to know who it is that you want to sell stuff to who is your audience your avatar your target audience right so that is number one and I'm not going to disagree with that because that's definitely very very true you got to know who it is you're trying to attract who it is you're trying to sell to right so <clears throat> the next thing is you have to be clear on your offer and what it helps others with right so what is it that you're selling is one thing but what is your offer means you know what is it that you're actually going to uh give them as results what are the results are they going to lose weight are they going to you know have their ex turn heads when they walk down the street are they going to feel amazing in a bikini if they're trying to lose weight it's not about losing five pounds or ten pounds or whatever it's about feeling good in your body right it's about the the feeling you get from it or the or maybe the the shame you get from you know having gained weight or whatever right when, when we're talking about weight loss right and it's the same thing with online success the people that are tr you're trying to help if they're if you're trying to find people or trying to help people building a business online well what is it that they're going to get out of that 
more customers no they're going to get the feeling of of accomplishment they're going to get the feeling that their 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 spouse thinks they're doing great right they're going to get the feeling that uh, anyways it's that's what it's what does it give them not what are you selling not the product so anyways they also tell you to be active on the platform so you got to be po you got to be active which means engaging on other people's posts means posting content regularly means like going to groups and becoming the person others notice right all these things are being taught by those gurus by those mentors by those coaches and <clears throat> those are all great right but that still doesn't tell you what is the best kept secret so we're going to get to the best kept secret in not too long we're almost there and of course they tell you to be consistent right you got to have a, a daily method of operation a dmo you got to never quit and you got to be yourself so what does that mean to be yourself because you know when we're talking about social media and social media Facebook Twitter LinkedIn Instagram Pinterest TikTok YouTube <clears throat> all those platforms are people that are on there people don't want coca-cola or nike or or reebok or whatever the brands are you know kleenex or q-tips those are brands right people don't want those brands they want people they want to be interacting with people they're interested in people so you have to be a person which you are but you have to be you and why do you what does that mean to be you like I said it means to be you know to to not just be about business to be about what does life mean to you what does what are your values what are the things that interest you what are your hobbies what are what are like me I post about my one of the things that I I really think is funny because one of my mentors <clears throat> Mark Lalonde he is always telling me how he he can remember how I love rhododendrons 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 so those are flowers well they're little shrubs that that grow in lots of the northern states well they actually grow all the way to Florida they're different color flowers they're very very beautiful flowers and they don't last long they last about two weeks maybe three weeks at most and then they're gone and I planted them like four five six seven different varieties that have different times of flowering so I end up having some of those flowers for like two months because I have one that la that starts early then the next one then the next one then the next one and I'm always and I'm always talking about that I'm always posting about that but that's one thing right other than that I have kids I have a wife I have a job I have I have a hobby all those things I talk about so that people get to know me They're like what makes me tick and you have to do the same thing right so those are the things that are taught by the gurus right by the mentors by your by your coaches by the the leaders they all talk about these things on social media right but we're still not at the best kept secret and you're going to be like what no that's not that's but you know what I do believe that this is a really big deal especially if you're trying to grow your audience trust factor if you're trying to get them to go up that ladder right I have a I actually have a <laughs> actually let me show you this here I actually have what I call the no like trust ladder and I'm just going to take a screenshot of this right here and I'll show you what it looks like and just a second because I forgot to turn the timer off but there so go you got the no like trust ladder it looks like this it looks like this so the no like trust ladder make this bigger no I can't okay, so the no like trust ladder is basically about taking people from they don't know you right this lady here's going like this I don't know who I don't know. I have no idea who that is right I don't know so then they know you oh they I, they've seen you so they know you right they've seen you they've seen some of your posts they've seen your face someplace that maybe they've seen you commenting on their posts maybe they, you've seen they've seen you react to their posts to the point where they like you next you know these are all like rungs of a ladder you got to go up that ladder if they want if you want them to buy from you which means they trust you that's when they're going to buy from you once they trust you it doesn't mean the next day they're going to buy from you but if you keep them going up that ladder eventually they will trust you enough to buy from you when you have an offer that they're interested in and if you are creating content around them around what they're interested in and what they uh, want to what what 
what they want to avoid right if you're creating content around that they're going to notice you because they will be going to your news feed they will be seeing your stuff once in a while if you follow all these things that leaders tell you to do right <clears throat> but the no like trust ladder is the secret well that's not the secret this is part of the secret that you have to know understand that people have to go up that ladder if they don't go up that ladder they will not you know learn to trust you they won't they but the process to doing that is all these things all these things you got to do but the secret okay you want to know the secret the secret that I'm talking about the secret that the best kept secret that you know everybody talks about that leaders all talk well they don't talk about it because they don't really know about it but the best kept secret right the best kept secret is notifications that's right notifications so why do I say that notifications are the best kept secret well if you think about it <clears throat> to get people to climb this ladder right to get people to climb this ladder they have to be seeing you so each of these rungs of this ladder right these all these the rungs of the ladder are basically what are what are called an exposure right so an exposure is people seeing you people seeing your stuff people seeing your 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 life people seeing things about you <clears throat> and one of the things is seeing you in their notifications right if I look at my if I look at Facebook here and I look at the notifications that are here on Facebook <clears throat> I see these these people here right these these faces that I see here see Jennifer right here she's she's commenting on my stuff she's posting she's reacting to my stuff and then all these other people right so Russ, uh, uh Amanda here and uh there's Jennifer again down here and then there's uh there's Nigel here and all these people are people that I see because everybody looks at your no their notifications so if you can be in other people's notifications they're going to see you so every time they see you in here whether they react or not their subconscious mind is picking up that you're there right you're there in their notifications and <laughs> and if they end up engaging on your stuff commenting on your stuff or actually going to the you know if I go here for example I'll go to N Nigel Nigel's comment here I'm actually going to go and click it and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to see what he said I'm going to just you know react to his comment and maybe I'll reply to it but I also see his post right I also see his post so that's kind of what notifications are all about people will see you commenting on their stuff and then they're going to come see your comment and possibly see your profile they're going to be like who is this and they're going to start to go to your profile and they're going to go look and see what you're about and see your posts and maybe engage on some of your posts right <clears throat> then that's kind of what it's all about people engaging on your stuff and commenting on your stuff and me and well this is an example right here see Nigel right here he actually commented on this post why did he do that because he saw me comment on his stuff in his notifications the secret the notifications if he saw me in his notifications then he might come see me and then you know what happens is Facebook will start to show my post in his feed so he doesn't necessarily have to come to my page to see my stuff he's going to keep seeing me and then he's going to go up that value ladder right he's going to go up that ladder he's going to keep going up that ladder and he's going to get to a point where he likes me he's like oh this guy's cool you know he's got kids he's got rhododendrons he's got a nice big house he's got this he's got that I like this guy plus this guy is engaging on my stuff which I really like because that's why I post on Facebook so that's why notifications are super super amazingly crazy that they actually do cause people to go up the no like trust ladder and um and this should actually say no like and trust ladder not no like trust no like and trust ladder well I can't, I can't edit it here but I edited it on my other page but so that's the thing right so the no like trust ladder is everybody goes up this ladder well I mean anybody who's going to buy from you has to go up this ladder if they don't go up this ladder they're probably not going to ever going to buy from you so that's and you know you could be 
uh, you can still here's here's the thing you can still go up you can still cause people to go up that no like trust ladder by doing all these things right you can still do that that still works it takes it it all these activities lots of these you you still have to do you, you should at least have a daily method of operation pretty much no matter what you should probably be posting content yourself regularly that is a given you could post maybe once a week once even once a month that would still be okay because at least there's something people can see if they go see your profile right it doesn't mean that if posting once a week is gonna you know cause a lot of um, people to actually see your stuff necessarily right but <clears throat> definitely the notifications are the big key right the secret is the secret the secret is notifications right notifications is what causes people to see you all the time especially if you're engaging in our stuff regularly but it's a lot of work to keep track of what you're engaging on how you're engaging on it which which should you should you know when I when I go to Facebook here right if I go to Facebook <clears throat> I mean it's all great that I know all this stuff I can go through the through Facebook my feed here and I can just comment on these things right and I can just comment on this right engage on this engage on this uh or you know whatever react to things and and that I can just do that I can just go through my newsfeed right but the problem with that is that I don't know like this like Jennifer Page over right here right if I comment on her thing right here then if she posts something else tomorrow it's probably going to come up on my feed maybe I'll engage with her post again which is great um you know she's she would be going up the no like trust ladder towards me right she would her trust towards me would grow because she would you know get to know me get to like me get to trust me and all that stuff right and that's what you want people to do but the problem is that you don't necessarily need to be engaging on a whole her posts every single day you could you could engage on her stuff less often and she would you would still be going up her no like trust ladder because um, the human brain doesn't need day like doesn't need I mean yes okay daily is better than once a week or whatever but over time over a certain period of time if if the time is too short between between um vis visibility to you it might seem annoying right if it's too short they might be annoyed so you got to be careful with that with engaging on everything every day because they might think that it's exaggerated right unless they already know and like and trust you because they met you some other way that's different but if you're meeting some people that you don't know who they are and you're engaging on every single one of their things because they're in the feed they might like it but they also think that you're probably overdoing it right so the other thing the other secret is that you have to have a delay between your interactions so that they feel that the no like trust the trust factor grows slowly over time so that means you you gotta you gotta be you gotta understand you that you need to give it time you can't people do not uh, grow in, in their trust towards you quickly it takes time and it has to be consistent so that means you need to be going to their pace so that means that what you gotta keep all these names and put them in some spreadsheet to make sure you're going to visit them at the right time during the right you know <laughs> the right process the right schedule and keep that someplace oh my god that would be so crazy wouldn't it and then you know that's one of the things for me I I knew that that's what should be done right that's what you should do is have a you know on Monday I go visit these 20 people on Tuesday I go visit these 20 people on Thursday Wednesday I go these one Thursday these ones Friday these ones and then Monday again I maybe I go back to the first ones from last Monday so maybe maybe you can do it that way right you can have a list of people that you visit on Monday a list of people you visit on Tuesday etc right <clears throat> but eventually that that takes takes its toll because you're maybe those people some of those people you end up discovering they're actually not interested in what you have but you grew them and know like trust but they're not interested right they're not your real target market they're not right so what if you could get a list and you know I didn't really necessarily want to get into that in this episode 
because but I've been promoting this for for a while and it's really something I feel strongly about that the process is what causes us to waste so much time on social media because social media wants you to do what they show you in the feed that's what they want you to do they want you to go through the feed and they want you to engage on the stuff <clears throat> like even this see this is an ad right here right did you notice that as I was scrolling down this post stayed there and then none nothing this the rest was not loaded that's because they want you to see this a bit longer so they don't sh they don't load this up ahead of time if I keep scrolling down you're going to notice that there's going to be another ad at some point and that's going to pause now this did see this another ad right here right see this was sponsored and this one was also delayed because that's just how it works they want you to see stuff longer this is sponsored see all the ads they're all sponsored because you're going through the feed and it's making you wait and they want you to see you know they want you to see this another ad every single time there's an ad it doesn't load the rest so to make sure that that ad stays at least in your in your view for a second right but anyways that's not that's kind of beside the point but I just kind of want to show you explain to you that the pipe the the social media platform has a reason to do what they do that's because they're making money and they're promoting things and whatever right so what if you were in complete control of who you are visiting instead of relying on the news feed or instead of relying on groups just get a list like this this tool here that I have gives me the list to engage on today and gives me the list to engage on tomorrow and gives me the list to engage on the day after every single day I tell it give me the list of the people that I have not engaged with for the last six days I can just say give me the list of six days right here I say and then it gives me the top 25 based on how much how many posts they made or how many comments they made depending on what I choose but gives me the list of the people that I want now this is it is a tool it is a piece of software that you kind of have to understand how to use and how to best um, use and all that so that's kind of why I'm doing an actual workshop if you go to uh, workshop.jsgaino.com you're going to see this page which basically will let you um, register for the next workshop right now as I'm recording it's happening tonight so that's why it says eight hours but whenever you go to it it might be a different date because I will be doing these once in a while uh, I'm not sure when the next one is but uh but right now this is what you would see pretty much and uh explanation of what the software is right some some are saying that this is not uh, uh that they were ang like Carla here says she was anxious when she began to use it and today she's using it all the time and she loves it right and Sheila over here also said that the extension was a superb it's superb the support was quick and the system does exactly what it's meant to do zero errors and there's also Celia here that has a video and anyways but that's the thing so if you go to workshop.jsgagnon.com if I put it up here do I have it up here oh I do have it right there go to this link oh look at that oh it's not there we go if you go to workshop.jsgagnon.com you can register for the next workshop to learn all about how to get this list of users so that you can grow there like see how it says hot cold hot that's because these these people that are hot is because I've been engaging on their posts all the time regularly and now they've seen me enough that if I reach out to them they're not going to be like who is this they're actually going to know you know they probably know I have kids they probably know I, I I build business online that I build software they probably know all those things so when I reach out to them they're not completely uh ignoring me they some of them still do obviously right but still and percentage wise in terms of, of of results it is really quite a big difference between uh those that have no clue who I am when I try to reach out to them in the beginning versus you growing them on the no like trust ladder so that they get to a point where they know me they like me because I'm doing things that are things that they want like you know if they're posting on Facebook they want people to comment on their stuff that also helps them because if anything you engage on 
Facebook sees as a post that's of value and it shares it to more people in the feed so it helps them that way too so they will definitely like you doing that and this is um and instead of trying to figure out where they are how are they are they active or not the tool also tells you how many uh, posts they've done how many comments they've done things like that so that's really really um that's it for now anyways I just want to tell you about notifications are the secret weapon to grow your no like trust in you to grow your prospects trust in you so that's what the secret is all about it's notifications and you might be like that's that's stupid it doesn't mean anything but you know what notifications are the secret because that's exposures and exposures is what causes people to grow their trust in you all right hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions you can always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom Ooh. some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time